Marinchi's worked there, Oswald's friend, the Sinclair Oil, represented a very dark picture in American history. But I want to pan the camera a little bit. What I wanted to say was, in this block was the original Time Life building, before Time Life moved over to 6th Avenue in a new XYZ building. Now, for a while, General Dynamics moved in here. Yeah, the company that makes our nuclear submarines was operating out of this, was operating out of this building for a while. And it's interesting because George, the, the Oswald's friend, George, I'll just say George, um, was, in, was questioned by a man named Albert Jenner, Jenner, Jenner. Albert Jenner, yeah. He was the top lawyer for Henry Crown. I talked to you about Henry Crown, uh, and Henry Crown owned General Dynamics. Henry Crown is part owner of the original 14 buildings of Rockefeller Center. I'm sorry, I'm giving you a better view now here. There it is, okay. There's a better view. But, Albert Jenner was a lawyer for um, Henry Crown and was on the board of Dental Dynamics. So here you have, you got George working here, 600, there it is, 605th Avenue, the Sinker Will Building. Then you got this area in here, um, it was Time Life for a while. Um, it was the Time Life moved and it became General Dynamics for a while. And General Dynamics questioned Georgie Marinci. And that building right there now is Citibank. Citibank owns it. Citibank was owned by the Rockefellers, as was the Chase, as is the Chase. And Citibank. And down there, that's where they have the concerts, it's the free Citibank concerts in the mall. Nothing's free though. Now we're going to get some variety. The Rock of us want to get the money out of us one way or the other. They'll get the money because they're thieves. Okay, I'm going to go down to uh, the front offices of the Rockefeller Foundation. Bye.